Hey everybody, what is up? Um, today I'm just going to show off my Hero Clicks collection as of some random date that will be in the title. Um, but um, I'm expecting to get more soon, probably over Christmas or something like that. But um, here we go, my entire Hero Clicks collection. So, this is going to be a long video. Um, I'll start off with my mat mats and whatnot first. So, right here. Sorry, I'm trying not to like ruin these or anything because some of these are pretty old. Got that Gotham map, the Gotham Park map. So that's that's a pretty cool one, you know. Nice and small, not too big. And then we have the bigger mat. This is actually the very first mat from the very first starter set. All the way back in like 2004, I believe. So this one's really big, and it's double sided. So I'm sorry, it's it's huge, and the only way I could capture it is to move my camera way back. Here's my teams. I have a lot of them written down. And then once again, a really outdated powers card thing, but you know it works. It's got all the powers on there still. Um, next I'll go to my cards, or like the power cards and all that good stuff. So first I have like these, you know, little upgrade cards, I guess you could call them. And then we have all of my cards for all the heroes. So you got that. And then, you know, you got your, your little specials and smokes and all that and your dice and you're like by in your bystander tokens and no one uses these so it doesn't really matter all right so now let's move on to the characters i have a pretty wide you know variety i have some uh dcs and some marvels so here we have the hydra soldier or hydra officer just put him right in the middle and then um Wolverine from Web of Spider-Man. Paid eight bucks for this guy because the my local comic shop sells hero clicks individually, so that's always nice. Got uh, Daredevil. I don't know what set this guy's from at all. So if you guys know, go ahead and tell me in the comments. Got um one of my favorite figures to play, Free Comic Book Day War Machine. He's an absolute beast. Let's focus. There we go. Just an absolute beast of a figure. Um, we got Bizarro here. Another really good figure, but I have a figure that I prefer to use. Even though he's got some really good stats. Um, like I said, I have a much stronger figure. With the same amount of powers and, and a lower point value. So We got Mass Master. Don't really use him. To me, um, this guy is the best support character ever, Lockheed. He's got a really good trait, and um, I'll tell you that probably after I'm done showing everybody off, if I remember. And then we got Pyro. So, you know, another really good figure. Um, 74 points, he's a rare, so... Um, I have really bad luck opening any boosters of anything, and I never get super rares, so. Gravity, I would honestly pay someone if they knew who, like, I'd pay someone 20 bucks if they actually knew who Gravity was. I, I do, I actually own his first issue, and, you know, I think he's awesome, but ever since that first issue, he's never really appeared. Got the Mad Hatter here. Mad Hatter's a pretty cool Batman villain, not my favorite. We'll get to my favorite Batman villain. Which might surprise some of you. Maybe not. Got Black Widow. And I believe this is from the Iron Man Battle Pack, I want to say. Got um, Nick Fury here. Ultimate Nick Fury. Alright, he's not showing up. There we go. So, got all that. And then you got the Claw from... Um, the Captain America boosters, the single boosters. Um, my comic book shop never got um, booster packs. I got the gravity feeds. Got Killer Croc for here, and Killer Croc's pretty good. I traded him, traded for him, should say. 
Then you got light speed. No one really cares about light speed. Um, you got Commissioner Gordon here. He's actually a really good figure. He has a really good ability called Bind, which makes your opponent cannot uh, move, I believe. Like, period. So, if you get a couple poison characters next to him, he's really dangerous. Iron Fist. Another really good figure. He's a common. Only 70 points. He's got some really good abilities. Spider Slayer. Got JJ's face right there. Yeah, he's he's okay. I mean, he's not amazing. Triton. And he's a unique rare, which is pretty nice. Pulled him from the scroll packs. Another Hydra officer. The Riddler. Decent figure, not amazing, but whatever. Here's my favorite Batman villain. Ah, Scarecrow. Yeah, Scarecrow is my favorite Batman villain and always will be. He's a pretty good figure. Not amazing, though. He can't take any hits. Got Hydro Man. This is from the Sinister Boosters. He's all right. And then we got the common Spider-Man from the um, Scrawl Packs. A lot of mine are from the Scrawl Packs and the giant-sized X-Men. So That's really when I started buying them. I've been into them ever since. Got A-Bomb here, or Abomination. This is the ultimate version. So he's a rare. He's 150. He's okay, but I don't know. It's just something about him that just doesn't seem too good, I guess. I don't know. Here's my classic Daredevil, or original Daredevil. Whoa, okay, that was creepy. Um, he's much better than the other Daredevil that was in this video, and I'm so glad I pulled him. He was from the Sinister Packs. It was cool. He was actually one of the figures I wanted to pull, so. He's not the red version, the veteran version, but that's okay. Iceman, pulled him from the Giant Size X-Men. Happy about that. Because every other pack after that, I never pulled him, so I'm assuming that he's pretty tough to get. He is a rare, so I guess makes sense. Got the Masked Manhunter here, or Batman. So, some gargoyle, and somehow carries that with him when he moves. Um, Strife here, he's really nice. He's a, he's a great figure um, for a Brotherhood team. He's a rare, traded him, traded with... Traded for him. I keep saying traded him. Got a Howling Commando here. He's got two uh, versions. He's on blue right now. Why is this not focusing at all? There we go. Or yellow right now. And then you got Kristoff. He's Doom's son. Is he red? The skull. Really easy to get on the gravity feeds. So if you're looking for him in the gravity feed packs, just look for the heaviest one. That's how I found him. And, you know, I just had a feeling that it was red skull. Here's my biggest figure. Dragon Man. Dragon Man is really good. He's got some good abilities. Bought him for $2. Still got quite a bit left. Don't think we're done yet. Multiple man. Pulled him from the Sinister Pack. He's pretty nice. Not amazing, but not terrible either. Punisher. Another really good figure. Good for range. He's good at range and close combat, which is always nice. Alright. Gi. No one cares. So. He's not going to bother. Yeah, I got a Iron Monger. He's from the Iron Man Battle Packs. He's a unique, super rare. I don't know how that works since you automatically get him. So. Here's Beast. Nice figure. He's good to play in, um, in, um, in, um, 
X Men teams. Got Jessica Jones here. Not very good, to be completely honest. Doesn't have a lot to offer. I am Iron Man. Cool looking figure. He's not uncommon. And then you got Caliban here. Pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> Starting to take a toll on my arm. Almost done. About five left. Six maybe. I don't know. I forgot. Scrawl Captain Marvel. Great figure. He go. He's always nice to go head to head with my most powerful figure, which I'll show last. Um, Psycho Man. Pretty good. He's got some really good abilities. And then we got Gideon. He's got some good moves, but I don't really use him a lot. There's better. And he's almost 100 points, so. Mole Man. I don't know. I think Mole Man is just a really dumb villain. And the most overrated villain of all time, the Joker. I'm going to get a lot of hate for that comment, but I'm not taking it back. Alright, and finally, my most powerful hero click, and the only one that's worth money. Sentry. Yep. Uh, super rare from the scroll packs. He is an absolute beast. My god. His abilities, he's so cheap, it's not even funny. I'm going to get his card right now, and I'm going to show you how freaking broken he is. Whoa. So here's his card. Every character has like powers and abilities and whatnot. So he's got impervious, invulnerability, quake, super strength, charge, uh, uh, movement trait. So go ahead and read that. And then toughness, probability control, exploit weakness, and he's a close combat expert. Now, you might be wondering if that's, you know, if you don't play hero clicks. Well... Close combat expert means that he does, you know, two extra clicks of damage if he succeeds in attack. And he gets close combat expert when he's already doing four clicks of damage. If my camera would focus. So look at that. He's going to be doing um, six clicks of damage if he hits you. Now, take a look at his... Which click is it? Um, right here. Look at those stats. Five clicks of damage, 17 defense, 11 attack, 10 movement. That's not mean he's maxed out. There's his maxed out. 12 movement, 10 attack, 17 defense, and 4 damage. He is my ultimate figure. And, you know, he's in just about every team I use, so... There you go. This used up like all the almost all the memory on my SD card. So, my gosh, there are all my hero clicks. I'm planning to get even more. So, probably do an update video. See you guys later. Almost forgot. And then uh, finally, free comic book day Wolverine. Not bad.